channel and welcome to your channel treasures and videos today, today i am going to be making another coding video but today i'm going to be coding something different i am going to be showing you how to code a square calculator without even knowing how to code so Tell me what a square calculator is. So I'll let Mrs. Narwhal talk, okay? So basically what a square calculator is, is it's basically um, a calculator to calculate the perimeter and area of squares. Thank you, Mrs. Narwhal. So as she said, it does not calculate square roots of things. It calculates the area and perimeter of a square. So basically, you input the length of a side of the square, and then when you press the calculate button, it calculates it. So let's get started. So now I'm gonna tell you guys how to make the square calculator. First, so if you need to sign in, sign in over here in the corner. So I'm already signed in. So you can either go to projects and just scroll down and just scroll down. And then you can see that you have your projects over there. Or you can go to create and make one. So we're going to be using the app lab. So I'll just Make a new app. Mm -hmm. So let's let it load. And first, you need to rename the project. I'm gonna name just square. Oops. How. There. And then save it. So first we're going to start with the design and first of all uh, you should probably name your like the IDs of things something familiar so that you don't get mixed up what is what. So I'm just going to call it screen calculator. Oops. Okay. And you can change the background color if you want. I'm not going to change uh, actually. Blue, light blue. Hmm. Light blue. Hmm. That's a nice blue. So, so first we're gonna start with a label. So the label is just gonna be the header, and I'm gonna call it label. Uh, And I'm just going to make S and square. Okay. So, first I want to change the, the size of the font. I want to make it big because it's like the heading label. So, I'm going to start with maybe 20. Mm, a little bit more. Mm -hmm. About 30. Mm, too big. 25. Yeah, 25 looks good. And you can make it any font size you want. I just want to make it 20. And I'm going to make my text block. We're just going to delete that. And we're going to put square calculator. There. And I don't really want the text to be like that. Actually, that looks fine. And you can design it any way you want, but this is just how I'm going to design it. So, I'm just going to center it. And this other label is optional, but, yeah. So, that label is just going to say the instructions on how to use this square calculator. So, I'll just put T to check what color I want it. Hmm. Black. Okay. Type the then 
Oops. Length of a side of the the square. And then that. So I'm just going to center it again. Okay, center, center it there. And then you're going to need a text input. You don't need to put anything in the text input, but I'm going to. So before that, I'm just going to put label in drug. There. Label instructions. And this one is going to be text input length. Okay, and I don't want to put a placeholder, but I want to change the color to black. So yeah, so they're going to enter the length of the side here. And you're going to need four more labels, so a uh, tip, if you want to, you can just duplicate it instead of doing the same thing for all of them. So, I'm just going to put, so here you're going to find the area, and then below that you're going to find the perimeter, so I'm going to put area. So, I want the text to be bigger, so, so I'm just going to change the font size, I want it to be the same. Uh, I want it to be almost the same size as the first title over here, so I'm just going to make it 25 because that's going to say the area, and I'm going to make it that label area. There. Also, I want to change the color to black. You can keep it gray if you want. I just like black better. And I'm just going to there. And then you can duplicate that. So I'm just going to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate another three times. So, yeah, I'm just going to... So, for the text after area, you're not going to put anything in there because in our code, we're going to add the area of the square based on what you type in over here. So... Because it, so because it's a square, you only need to type in one side because all of the sides are equal. So I'm going to put this label blank area. So this is going to be blank. And I'm going to move it. And I want to make it big so that if they're like typing a big number so that it's not going to just like, um... It's not going to cut it and not show it. So, next we're going to go into the perimeter. So, this is going to be called label. Um, there. And the text is going to say. Since this is bigger, I'm just going to put it there, there, like that, and then in this one, so that means I'll have to move that to there. So for this one, it's also going to be blank, and we're going to call this label blank. And the text is going to be blank. So we'll do the same thing with the area. We're just going to make it big. In case there's a wrong number. So let's just put it in. There. And now we need the calculate button. So I'll just put the calculate button down here. And I want to change the button's name to button 
calculate. And the text is going to say calculate. So let me just write that. Calculate. And I want the button's color to be something different. Like, I don't know, maybe... Like a lighter orange, maybe? Hmm, a little bit lighter, maybe? Uh, a little darker, and... Perfect! So, that's all for the design. And now we're going to move on to the code. So, first for the code, we're going to need an on event block. So, for the on event block, whenever you press button calculate, then it's going to calculate the area and perimeter. So, to calculate that, you're going to need a set text because it's going to set text in the area label and in the perimeter blank label. So set the area and I'm not going to set it as a text, I'm going to set it as math. So it is going to be the multiplier because you need to multiply the, de the length times the width to make the area. But since the length and the width are the same because it's a square, we're just going to use one number. And we can't manually type that number because we won't know what they put in here. So because of that, you're going to need to get text. So it's going to take the text in from in here and it's going to multiply it by whatever you want. In this case, it's going to multiply it by itself. So let me just go down and go to the text input. There. And then it's going to multiply by itself. So I'm just going to get another get text and I'm going to do the same thing length and then that's done for the area and now for the perimeter we're going to need a, almost the same thing but it's different so for the perimeter so we're going to put it in the blank perimeter and for the perimeter, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to need a multiplier. There. A multiplier. But instead of multiplying this times itself, it's going to multiply this times 4. Because a square has 4 equal sides, and in the perimeter, you add up all the sides to get, get it. So basically, first we're going to do get text. There. And we're going to get text from the text area and we're going to do it times 4 so that's the code it's really simple it only needs four lines of code and now we need so first we're going to run it and then i'm going to enter the length of a side let's say five and then we're going to calculate and then that's the area and that's the perimeter so just to double check, we're going to go into a calculator and type it. So calculator, there. And then we're going to type 5 times 5 for the, for the area, and that's 25, which is correct. And it says it over there. And now we're going to do 5 times 4 which would equal 20, which is also written there. So that's how you make the square calculator. So thanks for watching the video. And if you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you're old here, make sure to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Bye.